Hey folks, welcome to the Daily Dude. Yes? No? I'm sure I'll figure out uh, an official intro before the end of this month. If you haven't heard, I'm going to attempt to do a video every day in the month of May. And today I would like to start off with a uh, homesteading off-grid, one of the very first homesteading and off-grid channels that I subscribe to. They've had a big impact on me and I've learned a lot from the, them sharing their knowledge and their experiences. Uh, so let's take a look at a at one of their random facts. During my career as a theater director, I once replaced an actor with a 10-foot puppet 10 days before opening. That was probably my most adventurous moment in the theater. Once during my theater career, I built a 10-foot tall puppet 10 days before opening when the director decided to fire an actor. I had a great prop man. That, of course, was Esther and Nick from the great channel fouch o -Matic up in Idaho. If you haven't seen that video or subscribed to their channel, I suggest you do so now. They're awesome. And, of course, Esther Emery also has her own great channel in her own right. Check that out, too. And since I chose fouch o as my random fact for today, I also decided to pick one of their older videos to highlight. Uh, this video, uh, Esther Emery shares her thoughts on intentional community or communes. And that is a topic that I would have been interested in uh, for quite a while. And so let's hear what this video is about. My only reason for presenting some um some interrogation of the ideas or challenging of the ideas is, is for those of you who might be imagining something that isn't yet real um, and maybe haven't had the experience to know what problems might arise. I think the thing that I most want to communicate is that intentional community is not a good solution to lack of skills or lack of experience. That was Esther Emery from the video Why We Don't Believe in Intentional Community at Fouchomatic. The next thing I'd like to highlight is actually a documentary series from the BBC. It's uh, before I started learning on YouTube, I dove into uh, TV shows and documentaries and educational materials. To learn a lot of stuff and I came across this this TV series on the BBC uh, this one is called Edwardian Farm and uh, I'll describe it more as we take a little look this series is set in the Edwardian era in uh, Great Britain which was 1900 to 1910 and it covers life on the farm in those days which is why I found it fascinating uh, a historian Ruth Goodman and archaeologists Alex Langlands and Peter Ginn, uh, they go back and live in that time period for a year and give us a really in-depth look at how it was back in those days. I just found this series full of interesting tidbits and instructional videos, uh, food preservation, animals, uh, you name it, they, they touch on it. And they do a really good job with the cinematography and the music and all that all that jazz also. Um, this uh, I don't have kids, but this might be a, a good learning opportunity for some older kids to learn about the history of, of the common people during those time periods. This was really fascinating. I actually did not watch this series on YouTube. I found it by other means but I did find this playlist uh, on YouTube and I don't I'm not vouching for anything or anything or anything uh, but you can see the playlist here and I think if you're a fan of homesteading and entertainment and all that jazz I, I really think you will enjoy this documentary series a link to that playlist will be below in the description so if you want to check that out you can find it there 
Now, before I start off with the first random fact about Peoria Dude, I'd like to thank those four channels who called me out to do the random facts. A big thanks to Nina from Southern Ark Homestead down in Arkansas and sometimes Mississippi. And thanks to Sean and Nikki from Natural Living Homestead and their family in Illinois. And up in Michigan, I really appreciate Mike and Jenny and their kids from Pratt Family Homestead. And also, thank you to Sam and Laura and their three daughters down in Missouri at Teal House Farm. And now we get to the boring part of the video where I give a random fact about myself. Uh, but before you go, um, I am looking for your input on videos to highlight during the month of May here. If, if you know of a video that has had an impact on, on your life or your base of knowledge in some manner, uh, let me know about it down in the comments. Even if you don't have the link, tell me what channel it was, tell me what the topic is, and I'll go out and I will search for that because I really enjoy learning new information, even about stuff I'm not necessarily usually interested in. Like, I used to didn't care about rabbits one bit, but now I'm very interested in it, thanks to uh, YouTubing homesteaders out there. Okay, so we'll refer to my notes. Now we'll get to the first random fact about Peoria Dude. I have Parkinson's disease, and I talked a little bit about that on my first uh, video for the Pratt Family Homestead Contest giveaway, but I guess I should probably expand on that a little bit now. Um, so yeah, I have Parkinson's disease. I'm you know, just like Michael J. Fox and uh, the recently passed Muhammad Ali, except I'm really, really poor. So, there's that. Uh, let's see. Parkinson's disease is uh, 